I will show you how to update a Smart Hub device that is not able to update itself over the air. Uh, it's very easy. Uh, you, what we will need is a, a computer with a Windows 10 or 11. Uh, we, would, uh, we will need our device uh, so we can connect it. And we will need a USB cable, USB-C cable uh, to connect the computer and the device. Uh, if you own M2 or M3 clock, uh, your cable will be for you in the package. And if not, just find whatever cable you have at home for charging your phone. Uh, they usually work. Uh, sometimes it happens that uh, cable is not is only for charging and not, not for data. So just find another cable and it will be just fine. Uh, we will do this in uh, two steps. We will find and install the application that will download the update for us. And then we will connect it and let it run the update. So let's just uh, go to the first step. So I will open my browser, I will go to the release Benzing Live. Uh, in the top menu is the first item, it's software. Uh, and on the screen it's the first application, Benzing Device Download. A great thing about this application is that it supports Smart Hub, it supports M2, M3 and also the Live Club system. So you need only one application to update all the devices. I will uh, download the latest version at this point 1.10 and my browser is working on it so you can open it from the browser or if you cannot find it it's usually in the file explorer and you go to the download here it is so I will just double click to open and now the installation is starting that's also very easy uh, in a few steps so just uh, click next another next and next now the installation is running, my computer is asking something, let's say just yes. And uh, the second step of installation is the driver installation, so you don't need to install drivers manually, it will just be done for you. Let's finish this and close. Alright, so now uh, if I close this and close my browser, I should see uh, 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 an icon on my desktop, Benzing device download. So let's just open that one and it might take a few seconds to open, right? So uh, there is only one button start. It will pull the latest firmware versions from the from, from our servers. And now it's asking me to connect the device to the USB port. So let's let's do it. I will connect to the USB-A and the USB-C. There is this small thing covering the USB-C port, so I will just pull it out carefully. Right, okay. So now the USB-C port, don't lose this one, yeah? I will just connect the USB-C port. It will turn on and our application should uh, detect it on some of the ports. All right, so. Reading fir firmware information, great. So the firmware version on this device is 5.2 and the uh, latest is version 5.8, which is great, that's the one that we want. So I just click next and now I just wait. And the device is blinking, it's, it will restart itself. It should take only a few seconds and now it's up update complete, you can now disconnect the device, great. And that's all we need to do. And I can now just disconnect it and I'm done. So this is basically everything. If you have your clock by your side, you just connect the clock and to make sure it's also updated. It's the very same process, you just restart it and uh, update your clock with this very same application. And in the end, I will disconnect it and don't forget to plug this cover of the USB-C port back in so the water or dust does not get to the port, right? I will just push it gently inside and that's it, we are done. Thank you for watching and good luck with your updates.